Well, good evening. Good to see everyone here tonight. Uh, this is our planning meeting that we have scheduled for August. Another one coming up in September, and then the final planning meeting will be in October for the 13th annual Flint Prayer Chain Day. And uh, got a special message tonight from Evangelist Geneva Spears, who is recovering. Uh, so we need to continue to pray for strength and recovery, but she's uh, doing amazingly. If you can uh, imagine how God is working uh, and He's restoring her her health, it is nothing short of miraculous. And uh, I've encouraged her to write down her story or at least dictate her story so that that can't be lost uh, because it's amazing. So anyways, the uh, prayer chain day is something that we hold every year, uh, either on the weekend of Yom Kippur or if it falls on a Wednesday, we'll hold it the following weekend. So this year our event is on October the 12th. And as we usually do, we are asking all the ministries to come out and pray with us for our city for about an hour. They can go back to their churches or another location of their choice to continue to pray. And in the afternoon, we usually reconvene back here at Riverside Tabernacle for a victory dinner of some sort. And as part of the planning meeting today, we're going to discuss what's going to happen at the rally which is going to be at City Hall. And that starts at noon and is going to go till 1 or 1.30 at City Hall. And uh, we'll discuss a little bit about what uh, we plan to do or what we can do uh, for the Victory Dinner at 5 o'clock in the afternoon. So we are encouraging everyone to uh, get the word out so we can continue to add ministries to what we're uh, trying to do is grow this thing into something bigger and better uh, where we have a bigger reach we look at prayer chain day as something that that crosses all the denominational lines if you believe in Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior and if you believe Flint needs prayer well then this event is for you I'm hoping that the word gets out that this isn't just another thing but this is the thing that that needs to happen so we're hoping uh, ministries across the city will bring their congregation to the rally, which is held on Saturday at noon this year, October the 12th, that they'll wear an article of clothing that's red, like Brother Richard is wearing tonight. He's got his prayer chain day shirt on. But it doesn't have to be a logo shirt. It can be any article of clothing that's red. Just can identify you as part of our effort to pray for the city and to, to bring the, the blessings of God down from heaven. He so wants to bless us, but he's looking for the community to pray and humble itself first, like we, we've all read in the Bible. So uh, we need all the able-bodied saints to be out in recruiting. Talk to your pastor. Talk to other pastors that you know. Invite them to attend the event. We're not asking for a donation necessarily, although those would be nice. And if you want to donate tonight, I have a donation envelope, and you'll be able to get a tax receipt for that. Uh, we don't have large coffers, so uh, we, we do the... online as well. Uh, there is a way to reach out to us online, but okay. I don't think you can donate online. You can send in uh, your donations if you want to. Uh, and you can send those to Prayer Chain Day, care of Bethesda Temple at 947 Leland Street in Flint, Michigan, 48507. Mm -hmm. Our website contains all the latest information, and that information uh, is uh, kept up to date. You should go there, www.flintprayerchain.org. You can get the latest and greatest information. You can get some contact information. You can sign up online to be a part of this. Um, we'd like to hear from people that they're going to be joining us so that we know that you stand with us. And we can count on you to attend the rally on the 12th of October. The planning meetings aren't uh, necessary for you to attend necessarily, but uh, we do value everyone's input, so we look forward to uh, participation in these planning meetings so that we can make this event uh, the very best that it can be because 
you know, in a multitude of, of uh, folks like us, we can come up with some really good ideas. So we're always looking for new ideas that are going to further the cause and bring glory to God. Because ultimately, I, I try to say this at every meeting, it's not about us. It's not about Bethesda Temple or Riverside Tabernacle or, you know, Faith Tabernacle or you pick any church's name. It's just not about us. It's about Jesus Christ. Right. right? It's that simple. So the objective of the day is to lift up and glorify the name of Jesus Christ. And as we do that, it's our prayer, of course, that God will use that and draw a multitude of people to him. Evangelist Geneva, as we all know, has a real bent towards evangelism and so she what she wants to have happen is for us to be out and to be visible to the people around town and to tell them about the good news tell them about what god's done for us let them know that god would do the same for them because uh, i think as we all know there's a lack of hope in the city there's is really missing some key elements the love and the joy and the peace that we have, so many people are still searching for that. But I think they're searching in a lot of the wrong places. Maybe people are looking for, you know, that love uh, in, in some bad places. They, they're looking for security and peace from General Motors, and, and that's kind of elusive sometimes when yeah. they've left town. And, or Citizens Bank, who up and left town, or, you know. But misplaced you know, uh, efforts to try to find these things. But we know the source of all these good things, and that is Jesus Christ. And so that's what Evangelist Geneva wants us to do, is to share that message. Of course, Sister Janet Pickell, our late sister, God rest her soul, she also had that same vision for reaching people, and she cared so deeply about the inmates in the prison and she didn't want to f have us forget those people. So when we have the rally at City Hall, of course we want to let that echo across to the county jail across the way. Um, and of course her husband, our sheriff, uh, Robert Pickell, he's one of our biggest supporters. So we're, we're glad to have him on board and we want to remember him in our prayers too and, and the work that those uh, the peace officers do right. on our behalf all throughout the city and the county and the state. They all come together to do good, you know, but they need our help. They need our prayers. They, they, they need God too. Right. <laughs> Some of them don't, don't have God in their life and they could richly benefit from having that. So we need to remember them in our prayers. So tonight, um, Having seen Evangelist Geneva uh, last week, I recorded a message from her that she wanted to have played to the group tonight. So let me see if I can bring that up and, and I'll play it. Hopefully you can hear it. Praise the Lord, saints, prayer chain, ministers. This is Evangelist Geneva Spears. And I just want you to know that I love all you, appreciate you, and you know the Lord loves you. And I know you love the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I will be back real soon. I'm doing real well. Real well. God, the God is good. I died a couple of times, but he brought me back to life. And uh, everything's going well. I be hope to see you real soon. And uh, I'm getting ready to start the TV ministry back as well. So just stay tuned. Have a blessed night. And Pastor Beck will take care of you and the ministry. And he's going to be standing in for me. <laughs> That's good. So you get an idea. Yeah. Again, having died for four times and, and God brought her back, we know that God's not done with her. That's right. We, <laughs> she's just absolutely not done with her. And while the enemy wants to, to sift her and take her, uh, that ain't happening. That's right. So, you know, we'll carry on.
And again, our, our objective in, in her absence, and of course in the late Sister Janet Cacal's absence, we're going to carry on with their vision and try to remain true to what, what they saw the prayer chain day to be and what it can accomplish. So I hope we can uh, do that with great vigor and, and excitement because it is exciting to see God at work and, and to add all of our prayers together. You know, it's just exciting to think of what God can do. And, and He's at work all around us. And, and our prayer has been effectual over the years and we are making a recovery so you know her mother is 98 that lives with her and uh, uh, Elizabeth and her daughter Isabella went to uh, uh, her name Sophia 97th birthday party and Isabella played with all of Geneva's grandkids Mm -hmm. Yeah, and she just <laughs> loved it over to Geneva's house. And she looked great yeah. when I was over there, too, I, I might say. I mean, yeah. I wasn't going to report on her mother, but yeah. her mother looks great. Wow. Yeah. And uh, uh, they, they Geneva looks fantastic. When I introduced Isabella mm -hmm. to her family, some of the older people said, well, this little girl looks like Grace Kelly. You, the older <laughs> people know when Grace Kelly was a little girl, they say yeah. that Isabella looked like Grace Kelly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, we're excited uh, for what uh, God has in store for us. Yeah. Really hope that we can all uh, pull together and make this happen. Now, we've already got the stage mobile rented from Oakland County Parks and Recs, and that will be delivered at 7 a.m. on the morning of the 12th, and we'll have it all day. I have a, the permit has been issued for us to use the front lawn of City Hall on the morning and afternoon of the 12th of October. Okay. So that will happen. Uh, the Bizzles have been gracious to uh, organize to have the chairs brought in. Uh, so we'll have some chairs. So what do we need? We need your prayers for good weather. Right. We need your prayers to bring more of the saints in. I want to fill the lawn with uh, people wearing red and praising God uh, for all that they have, all that God's going to do. There's plenty of things to pray about. I think we can all agree on that. In uh, years past, we have uh, had just a list of things that we were going to cover. And I'm open to ideas on what we might do for this year's event, if it should be any different. Uh, want to have several pastors uh, to do this again, or... Any other ideas? I would love to see the pastors who are there at the meeting stand mm -hmm. and, the, and the folks who are there just mm -hmm. raise up a prayer for them. Mm -hmm. I, I think about Nehemiah, how God used all of the different families and um, groups in different places on the wall and around our city. Right. There are pastors right. that are... Um, standing on the wall, standing in the gap for Flint, it would be um, an encouraging thing just to take a little time to have them stand and, and pray for them together. Definitely. Let's do that. We'll do that for sure. Uh, the Bizzles wanted to make sure we left room at the beginning of the program for the shofar uh, mm -hmm. blowers. Um, Tom Revor, he... he uh, has been uh, very active in the prayer chain day, so I can think of him in particular. Right. And I know uh, Bill Etter plays a mean shofar, so I can I can at least get those two guys. So if you know anyone else that uh, can blow the, oh, Pastor Fisher would be a good one. So Pastor Earl Fisher, I'll reach out to those three guys okay. at the very least and see if they'll uh, begin the service with the uh, blowing of the shofar. And then we can have the prayer for the pastors. I think that would be really good. And I really liked it a few years back when we had the choir that was, uh, that was singing. But uh, if I remember right, they disbanded. So if anybody knows of a nice uh, choir that might want to come, usually a choir involves a lot of people. So they may be harder to get, but it's nicer to get more people. <laughs> And again, we're only asking for an hour. Yeah. It's just an hour. You know, what Jesus said to um, what's Peter and John up on the mount? Can you not pray with me? 
watch with me for just an hour? Can you can we not get you to pray for Flint for just an hour? Just an hour. Yeah, some of Pastor Fisher's uh, people have been praying for the event uh, oh, all good. year at the yeah. Michigan Event Center on Thursday night is uh, a prayer and Bible study. And uh, there's a group there, Pastor Fisher, or Bishop Fisher was there, and Reverend Sifa too. And they, they had studied the Bible together and they pray. And they have this in mind too, to you know be a participant in too. And then uh, about a month ago, Paul Herring and his son, uh, Paul Jr. and Marcus came over to my house in the backyard. Isabel and I were playing hide and go seek. <laughs> And uh, Elizabeth was in the house, uh, I think, texting uh, one of the uh, people that she's in business with. She had some things to do, so I was playing hide-and-go-seek out. In the, and Paul walks up. I don't know why he came over. I think he came over that day to deliver a DVD or something. And he was wondering how old this little girl was. And I said, well, hey, the prayer chain day is Saturday, uh, October 12th, the 13th annual prayer chain day down at the front lawn of the city hall and Isabella I told Paul if you remember that day in the backyard she turns nine years old one week before on Saturday uh, October 5th is her birthday <laughs> Isabella will be uh, nine years old and she's going in the third grade wow. and her mother has always come down and her aunt and they sat right down at front stage and they've never brought is Isabella did you ever bring Isabella before well, maybe she could come this year to the rally. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be yeah. great. Well, the more the merrier. Of course, bring your uh, relatives, bring your congregation. That's what I've been uh, asking for anyone that's going out to recruit. If you speak to the pastor, we want the pastor there. But bring your congregation. Right. There's a prayer warrior in every congregation. I'm certain yeah. of it. And we should at least get them to yeah. come down right. and just shake the heavens yeah. for us right so there's so so much to be accomplished yeah. and it's so good for the brethren to dwell together in unity yeah. i like what this means as far as unity in the community yeah and uh you know again the the ministers and the ministries that that participate in this they kind of know that it's not about us it's about him we want to lift up his name you know, uh, it's this right. is a event that's not egocentric. It is Christ centric, right. and we want to spread that message, and we want to make that happen. And you know, I'm looking forward to great things, just as that's, I know you yeah, are. That's one thing Sheriff Pickell always focused on when he spoke up at the prayer chain day. And uh, July 4th, we were out to Fenton to a parade. And he was one of the keynote speakers there. And uh, he saw Isabella and Beth, we were all out there. Mm -hmm. uh, he looked good, he looked like he felt good too. Yeah, and, oh, yeah. uh, you remember he spoke there, Beth, yeah. At the, uh, were you there? Did you go to the Fenton Parade? I missed it. July 4th, oh, okay, Re uh, Sheriff Pickell was the keynote speaker. Great, well, Sheriff yeah. Pickell should be our keynote speaker as well. He yeah. always gets a place at the podium for us. Yeah. Mayor Weaver, uh, has been invited but uh, have not received confirmation that she'll be there oh, so okay. i'm not i'm not assuming that she will she's been invited previous oh, years okay. but we haven't been able to get have her you ever met to come Dr. in uh, karen weaver personally no i saw her on tv but i met her personally about three months ago at macedonia baptist church at a uh, seven last utterance service of christ mm -hmm. and uh, i sat right next to her on the pew and uh, she said that uh, by 2020, they're going to have all the new copper pipes in with the federal okay. and state government help. Uh, and then the water crisis will find its resolution. It's five years and counting now. But mm -hmm. she's done wonderfully since she's been elected mayor. Yeah. yeah. Well, we hope that she can come. And yeah. any other uh, city council members. Uh, I know we've had Councilman May come to the event before and some others. So yeah. if you know any of them, please invite them to come to the event. Okay. We'll find a special place for them and yeah. recognize them at the ceremony. So yeah. uh, we're going to be getting our prayer on. So yeah. it's going to okay. still center around that yeah. as opposed to uh, a lot of other things. But what's important is lifting up the name of God. So if they're interested in that, yeah. they need to come. Mm -hmm. They need to be there because this is the event that's going to be 
bringing the church together. And I really, really have it in my heart that the unity of the church is, is what this city needs more than anything else. Right. You know, there's uh, all kinds of different divides, whether, you know, you're a sexist or a racist or all these other things that go on. The church is needs to be the one that rises up above all of right. this and sh shows the way that leads the community out of all of that so that we can get to the point where, you know, like Jesus, he didn't see any bond or, or free the, the right. slaves the jews the the gentiles it, it, there's no difference there's just no difference to god we are all his children and the church needs to show the way the church needs to be the leaders on this we want the government to take care of it but it's really the the church needs to lead the way the government mm -hmm. sure can help but they ought to get on board with what we're doing. And this is a good avenue to bring the church together. Uh, yeah. Sunday should be one of those days when we're not segregated, yeah. that, that we come together and we show what heaven's going to be like. And so right. that's why I like this event. This event, uh, it's just the brothers and sisters in Christ, and we all get along, and we all know that it's not about us, it's right. about him. And, right. And so I, I love this event. I love the people that come to this event. I love the people that volunteer for this event because their heart is truly in the right place. So we, we can get uh, some of the pastors lined up to pray over the different uh, topics that we have. But we need to also discuss what we're going to do after the fact. Um, the last meeting we talked about the victory dinner versus having an ice cream social. The ice cream social will be a lot easier to pull off and a lot cheaper. Yeah. Not sure um, if we have the money this year to do the victory dinner because that it broke the bank last year, to be honest. So let's uh, we need to reconsider what we can do, what we should do, be good stewards of the money that's been donated to us, and still accomplish the purpose uh, for which the event is happening. I don't know if you've all thought about that and had any other ideas. I know it's a it's a burden on Riverside Tabernacle to open up, but Rhonda, Pastor Rhonda's always willing to yeah. do that, and God bless mm -hmm. We're uh, happy Riverside. to do that. We are yeah. happy to do that. And I wonder if we did the did ice cream and celebrated together, if we might do it at 430 you know, and make it a little bit earlier yeah. mm -hmm. start. Yeah. And mm -hmm. um, it wouldn't be quite as lengthy, but we'd still have time for people to share what the Lord had done and it, on the day. Absolutely. So Another option would be, if the weather's nice enough, to meet back at the stage mobile. Right. We have that until 5 o'clock. So if we met there at we went back to the stage mobile at yeah. City Hall at four o'clock and we had an ice cream social there and testimonies that lasted from four to five, mm -hmm. then we could do that as well. Right. Um, the only problem with that is uh, the weather conditions. So but I know you're all going to be praying about that. It's going to be sunny and nice. Right? Well, Scott, that is really, to me, a great alternative and yeah. a great mm -hmm. idea because I'm a superintendent of uh, Sunday school. Uh, at uh, depart I'm uh, the Department of Sunday School at the Church of God in Christ and also a uh, vacation Bible school administrator of which we just had this summer and even Isabella when you take her to a restaurant mm -hmm. she instead of getting like a strawberry shortcake is quick to say oh can I have you know, ice cream mm -hmm. and little kids at vacation Bible school mm -hmm. they would rather have ice cream than uh, like a meal the little kids mm -hmm. they, they like that so that's a good idea for all the young people and yeah. you could still minister to people that are walking around downtown yeah. if it's nice out. Right. It's going to be October. It could be cooler. But, yeah. you know, it's, it's whatever God wants. Sister Adelia. Yeah. I was thinking about, too, and I think we did a year before last where children were involved on the stage. I think they came on the stage and they prayed. I think they were teenagers. Mm -hmm. And I think it's important to have the children involved in some way because they need to learn and they need to see it. Mm -hmm. You know, they need to see what's going on. They may not understand, but if they see it, and mm -hmm. you know, and can be taught, but have them involved on stage. If they say two or three words, 
mm -hmm. will be a part of because that's going to last within them through their years what they you know how they took part mm -hmm. in this prayer chain right so they you know I think that would be that's an idea you know to have them when that when we did that we got a lot of really good feedback okay. I think everybody okay. likes to see that because let's face it we're all up and over the hill <laughs> we're concerned yeah. about the next generation coming up right. so yeah. that held a, a special place in a lot of people's hearts when we did that I think that was two years ago I think it was so I think uh, when we go to recruit the uh, speakers for this year uh, and what we did a couple of years ago was ask each pastor to recognize uh, one of their kids in their congregation mm -hmm. that had uh, a good grasp of things to bring them with them and to pray mm -hmm. so wh why don't we do that when we ask like a uh, pastor to come and pray over you know the mm -hmm. public works or whatever we can have them work with one of their young kids and bring them to the rally and have them work together to say that prayer sound good sounds yeah, that's a good pray. example that's, yeah, yeah, for, yeah. I think that's for what young people, people. want to see yeah like uh, Isabella knows her mother prays, you know, and so that has an influence on Isabella, too. Okay, well, we can think about um, that. We don't have to make any final decisions on, like, the, the victory meal, although that decision may be made for us if we don't get any more sizable donations because of the expense of that. Right. We may well have enough money right now to afford the ice cream. So, you know, consider that prayerfully, and we will make a decision at the next meeting. I really okay. like the idea of coming back together mm -hmm. at the stage, at that area where we started the day okay. in prayer. I do, too. Okay. And then, you know, this if we can use backup. this as a contingency yeah. plan right. here, if that would work weather. great. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And, and that would force the day to... It would move it up to four o'clock instead mm -hmm. of four thirty or five, because yeah. this, the Oakland County people want to come back and they want to gather that back up at five. Oh, you're going to move it up to four? Right. Uh, I mean, if, we always met here for the victory dinner at five. Right. If we did it at the stage mobile, oh, okay. Then it would have to be moved up to four. Mm -hmm. So I, I mean, but that I mean, if we go more. from noon to one yeah. at the rally, yeah. that will give you from one to four. That's three hour block to go back to your designated site oh, and do okay. your ministry work. Yeah. So three hour block is not bad considering most people don't 